Hello everyone. And today I would be discussing about the monosaccharide practical. In a previous uh, video, I have talked about the general reactions of carbohydrate. Today we will be just discussing about the monosaccharides, right? What all tests has to be performed and what would be their observation. So starting with the glucose. When you will perform this glucose experiment, you have to start with the Morris test. As we don't know the, whether the sample is carbohydrate or not, so start starting with the Morris test. If uh, right as we know here, the sample is glucose, so Morris test would be positive. It would give you the purple violet color ring that would be observed at the junction of two layers. Inference here we can write down that a carbohydrate is present. Next test we would perform is the iodine test. Here you can differentiate whether the carbohydrate is polysaccharide, disaccharide or monosaccharide. So is the glucose that is a monosaccharide so it will give you no change in the solution. Inference we can write down polysaccharide is absent. So the sample could be either monosaccharide or disaccharide. Then I need to differentiate. Here, I am confirmed that it is not a polysaccharide. Now, I need to confirm whether the monosaccharide or disaccharide. So, I will perform next is Benedict's test. It will give you brick red precipitates. So, we can uh, say that the reducing sugars are present. It could be glucose, lactose, maltose and fructose. Here sucrose is not present because it is a non-reducing sugar. Then we will, I will perform Barford test. It will give you red scrum precipitate at the bottom. Then we can say the sample is monosaccharide. As Barford test that is done to differentiate between this disaccharide and monosaccharide. So here we confirm the given sample is monosaccharide. So it could be glucose or fructose. Now here glucose is aldose sugar, fructose is keto sugar. To differentiate between aldose and keto sugar, we will perform Selivanov test. As the given sample is glucose, there is no change observed. Right, the glucose is an aldose sugar, so there would be no change. And here I can write that keto sugar is absent. While performing Osazon test, I will get a needle shaped crystals. So this is all the series of tests that has to be performed and by this you can identify the unknown sample. Next test I would be discussing for the fructose. Here I know the given sample is fructose. So starting with Mollish test, it would be positive giving you the violet color at the junction of two layers. We can write carbohydrate present. Then I will perform iodine test. It would give, it, there would be no change seen. So polysaccharide absent, mono or disaccharide may be present. Then I would perform Benedict's test. Break red precipitate would be observed, showing that the reducing sugar is present. Glucose, fructose, lactose, maltose. Then I need to confirm, uh, need to clear whether it's a disaccharide or monosaccharide. So Barford test, red scrum precipitates are observed at the bottom. So monosaccharides are present. Now the given sample is fructose. It is a keto sugar. But when I don't know, I have to perform Selivanov test. If it is a keto sugar, it will give you cherry red color. And we can write the keto sugar is present. Osazon test would give you needle shaped crystal similar to glucose, fructose and mannose. So this all are the series of tests that to be done for fructose. Principle as we have discussed in the earlier uh, video, I will just go fast with the principle. Glucose in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid will dehydrate forms a furfural condense with alpha naphthol and will give you this violet purple color ring for Benedict's. This is for Monet's. Iodine, it will give you negative for the given sample as 
it is a monosaccharide for benedict's test it will give you brick red precipitate as it is a reducing sugar for mon uh, barford test it is again a monosaccharide so it will give you this red scanty precipitate at the bottom next is the selivanov test for glucose it would be negative and for fructose it would be positive so it will for fructose it would give you this cherry red color osazon test it would be similar for both glucose fructose and mannose as their carbon 1 and carbon 2 they are been masked by the phenyl hydroxy and it will give you similar type of crystals so that is all for the